All right, guys, so this is where it's gonna get fun. It's time to decorate the cakes. So, um, I've got my cakes made up right here. And this is my cake board that I'm gonna be using. And I've got my taco shells and I've got my icing. So, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my taco shell and I'm gonna put it the side I want down. The side I want shown down. I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't do this. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the taco on there and really hope that it works. And it doesn't because um, I didn't allow for the thickness of the taco. So we're not gonna decorate the tacos right now or the cakes right now. I'm going to since these are already cut out and in the shape that I kind of want, I'm going to roll them out a little bit more just to stretch that, um, that uh, I have fondant. So yeah. But now that I'm looking at them laying down like this, no, they gotta be, you gotta be able to see the, the shell on the other side. So, no problem at all. We'll just take this down here because they are kind of thick. So, I got some cake crumbs on that, but it's okay. Um, they are kind of thick, so we can roll it out just a little bit wider. And you can just do it all long, I would think, because um, you don't have to make it like perfect taco shell. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do it round. See if I can kind of get it more round. <clears throat> okay. We're going to see how that that will go. And we can always trim off um, what we don't need. So. Perfect. So, <laughs> guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> look at that. Looks like a taco. Okay, so, which is exactly what I wanted. So, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna brush this off there. So, that's, that's the shape I'm going for, which is, you know, not perfect. And that's okay because taco shells, again, are not perfect. So, um, I've never iced both sides of the cake before. So, this is a new thing for me. So I'm just gonna hold it like a piece of bread, for lack of a better term. And just, you don't want a whole, it doesn't have to be super thick. It's just gotta be on there because we're just basically gluing it. So we're just putting the glue on. And I'm making this up as I'm going along, guys. So, um, cause I've never made a taco cake before, so. This is a new, a new thing for me. So we're just gonna go with it. So, and the reason that I'm not doing the top of the cake is because uh, I'm going to color the icing or some of the icing brown to <clears throat> for the uh, for the meat part of the cake. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of eyeball where that would be. Smush it down. Lick my finger because it's just family. And then, man, that icing is good. Okay. And then do the same. I'm just gonna do enough here to glue it down. And now there's gonna be plenty of icing on a cake, so don't don't worry about that. And then I can go ahead and get, oh well, I could have just done the one side and not done the bottom part. And done the bottom part like this later. Okay. So, now I'm going to kind of pull this and stretch it a little bit. And kind of smooth it out like, like so. Guys! That is so cool looking. 
Oh, if Marianne's not excited about this taco cake, I for sure am. Because that looks just like a darn taco. I love it. And even if I just left this as the, the meat, that would still look like a taco. So, I'm going to put my first taco over here. And you know what? If it's got a little bit of cake stuff on it, that's okay. Because it's... um. You know, one, it's for a two-year-old. Yeah. Two, it's for my two-year-old, so I'm not selling the cake, so I'm okay with that. And three, it's cake. They're gonna eat it, no matter what it looks like. They would eat it, but I am stinking excited about that taco. So, I'm just gonna set that taco there, and I'll <clears throat> adjust later when I need to adjust. But I am so proud of that taco. If it, you just got like, you know, just your family, just do a half a cake. And then you got two tacos. And how cute. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here. Try to find a spot for it. Put that there. And I'm gonna do the other three tacos just like that. So I'll, I'll be back in a minute when those are done. Okay guys, so I did my last taco is done and i'm gonna set it over here instead of putting it on the board because i'm gonna show you why i've got three tacos on my board right now and i think that that's enough um that's enough cake for the party that we're going to be doing and um i think if i i can't physically put another taco on here or else so it would hang off the board. So um, I'm gonna call this done, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna trim up um, some of the taco shell and then um, we'll uh, get to decorating the insides of the taco. Now I have a, um, a scalpel that I actually got from a nurse uh, friend of mine that I'm just gonna kind of you know what? I just thought of something. This color would have been good for cheese. Um, I'm just gonna kind of, um, now this scalpel was not used. Like it was brand new. I got it out of the package. Not today, but um, she gave it to me a while ago. Um, I probably should have just left that one. I'm gonna leave that one the way it is, but this one is is way too big. So I'm gonna just kind of follow along with the cake. Try not to cut the cake. And I've used this scalpel so many times that it's probably not as sharp as it once was. But I can almost guarantee it's not as sharp as it once was. <clears throat> just try not to cut the underneath side of the other tacos. Shape it just a little bit. This one's gonna be the hard one because I don't want to poke myself with the scalpel, but also don't want to cut that other cake. So I'm gonna flip this taco over and flip that taco over. This is so so cool. Sometimes you don't know if it's gonna work out. You don't know if it's gonna work out, and then it does, and then it's just like, I'm so glad that worked out. But like I said earlier, make cakes for your kids. I remember the very first cake my mom ever made me for my birthday, and it was a, it was a Barbie doll cake. I don't know, if, <clears throat> I'm old, so. And they still have the cake pan. It was a Wilton cake pan. And um, it was a, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do it just like that. It was a Wilton cake pan and it was a doll. And so it was a, um, the skirt of a doll. And um, then you put a Barbie in top, on top of it and um, you decorated it. She used a box cake mix and she used probably store-bought icing. 
but that I remember that cake more than any other cake that I have ever had um, as a kid and so make your kids cakes but um okay so enough about me on my soapbox and preaching to y'all about making your baby's cakes um I'm going to start decorating so um I'm gonna set this over y'all that is just so cool looking <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just tripping out over over how how it turned out because I honestly didn't expect it to look like that. So um I'm gonna get you gotta have let's see, you gotta have um there's lettuce and there's tomatoes and um I'm not gonna do onions because you know they're kids, they don't want onions on their tacos, but lettuce and tomatoes and meat. So I'm going to get some spoons and we are going to color our icing. So it's gonna be more meat than um, lettuce. Well, I guess it's gonna be more meat than lettuce and, and tacos. Oh, and cheese, but I'll, I was got to looking at the fondant. I could almost use the fondant as cheese and I might do that. So we're just gonna go, that's gonna be the lettuce. That's gonna be the tomatoes cause you don't have to have a lot of tomatoes on there. And then um, that'll be my hamburger meat. And then I'll have, well, we probably don't even need that much for hamburger meat, but gonna be the hamburger meat and then I've got some leftover <clears throat> that I can do whatever I need to do with okay so we're gonna do hamburger meat first and it's brown so we got our brown food coloring and only thing I don't like about the gel food coloring is once you like put it in your um, icing the toothpick and your toothpick's done. You gotta get a whole new toothpick. Um, I don't think that's gonna be brown enough. That's gonna be some sick looking uh, hamburger. Like, I don't know if I'd eat a hamburger meat that had taco meat that was this brown. Now, another thing that you could do um, if you wanted chocolate cake, and this would be um, easy to do actually, is um, take your crumbs that you cut off of your cake and it's chocolate, right? So it's brown, it's already dark. Um, and you just uh, crumble it up. And you could even mix in some uh, icing with it and make it like um, cake pop consistency. And then, um, kind of smear it on there and make it look like it's, um, you know, on there for that. So, I might, well, I don't know if cocoa, if I add cocoa to this, if it would do anything. <clears throat> to that. And I don't think it's getting any darker. So, let me think. Um, you know what? It's kids tacos. They'll be fine with that. So, um, I'm actually going to use this one as my practice since, um, that's, you know, I don't have a, I've, I've got it and I'm not using it. So I'm going to use this one as my practice taco. So hopefully it'll sit up for a little bit. Let me get this cleaned off. So I'm gonna be oops, I'm gonna be adding lettuce and cheese and tomato to it as well. So I'm not gonna put a whole whole lot of icing on the actual taco itself and I'm going to try to avoid the um the um 
what is this called? The fondant. <clears throat> but it doesn't have to be, it doesn't, you don't even have to put it on there perfect. And if there's white showing through, that can just be sour cream. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this on here like this and just kind of sort of do it like that. Flip it around, do the other side. So it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of icing icing on here, but there actually is. So, um, like I said earlier, you're going to have plenty of icing. And if you have a kid that just is super, I want lots of icing, you know, just take some extra icing. I've done that before. Um, okay, so there's my hamburger meat. Oh, guys, this is looking so cool. So cute. Okay, so I've got a little spot over here. I'm going to redo. Add, add some meat to that because it's not done. Okay, so there's my hamburger meat. So I'm going to set this. If I can. I'm going to set this over here until I'm ready for the lettuce and the tomato. Okay, so <clears throat> guys, I'm sorry about sniffling. It's just it's been a crazy um, outside and allergies and all of that good stuff. It's, it's no joke. Okay, so um, green. I need my green food coloring. I might have lost my box of food coloring. Okay, so, and actually, I think what I'm going to do, because lettuce is like a couple of different colors, right? And I've got plenty of icing. I think I'm going to make two different colors of green. I'm going to make a darker green and a, a lighter green. So, oh, my taco fell over. So, this is kind of like a neon green, and it might be too neon greeny oh yeah oh that's a good um neon green there it'll work for a, uh, <clears throat> a lettuce just to kind of give it a little bit of depth and uh, just to see okay and now we're gonna use this green and this is like a Kelly green so it's gonna be a little bit um, greener obviously there. oh yeah that'd be good two different colors Probably a little bit greener than I wanted it. I mean, I don't want, you know, it's grass. It's like a grass color green, but it works. So. And then if you put too much food coloring in it, especially if you got extra um, icing, you can just add a little bit of ice, icing to it. <coughs> Sorry. Let me okay, I'm <coughs> filling up my um, icing bags, and I decided to go with I think that's a 46. I decided to go with this flat. Oh, you can see it. That y'all excuse my fingernails, but this flat um, tip because you know lettuce is kind of flat when you um, when you cut it up, right? It's not not round. I thought about using the like the grass tip. But I was like, no, that wouldn't make any sense because grass is, I mean, lettuce isn't round in shape. It's more flat when you, so like I said, this is going to be my um, practice one. So let's see how this goes.
I've never made lettuce before. So well, let's see this. Let's see what that's gonna look like. So there's on there's two tips on this one that's so I think I'm just gonna do it like that, just kind of not scrapey, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay. Get my taco over here. And it's kind of, it's not standing up like I wanted it to, but it's okay. We can lay it down. Okay. So I'm just going to put lettuce on. I'm just kind of, kind of looks, this kind of looks like guacamole. Doesn't really look like lettuce, the color of it. And it hangs over, you know, lettuce hang over some and. Don't look pretty, y'all. I saw another one. Oh. I saw another one that they used, um, like, <laughs> it doesn't look like lettuce at all. Okay, so, um, I saw one inspiration. Oops. One inspiration one. Guys. One inspiration one that had um, like the leaf tip. And uh, it's kind of looking more like lettuce. I think whenever I get the other green on there, that'll look more. More like lettuce, let me think. I wish I had a way to prop this up. You know what, I do have a way to prop this up. That box there. Rolling pin on the other side. There, and that'll, whoa. Well, maybe it didn't pop it up. Okay. Need a taco holder for a cake. That's not gonna, I don't think that's gonna stay. But that's okay. Because we're just gonna lay it over. Improvise. Fall back and touch to do what you gotta do, right? We're moms. We're used to doing that. Okay. So I don't know that that's gonna be enough of that green to do three more. I should have done them all at the same time. See? <clears throat> when you when I don't have a plan planned, this is what happens. So, and I don't know exactly what it is that I'm doing. This is what happens. But it looks like a doggone taco to me. It may not look like a taco to you, but to me and to my two-year-old, it's gonna look like a taco. Y'all think it looks like a taco? Hit that like button. And let me know. If you don't think it looks like a taco, what does it look like? Okay. Let me go with that. I'm going to take the same tip and I'm just going to take it off of here. <clears throat> and reuse it over here. Because we we'll dirty up another tip when it's the same thing. So, um, it's all green. Down. Okay, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try not to drop this taco on the floor, but I'm just gonna hold my taco up. Make sure you're on the flat side. more like it, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. It looks pretty good. 
ish. I wish I had two of these tips, two of the same tips at the same time, because then that would be a lot easier to do, because I could go back and forth <clears throat> with, let me see if I've got something that looks like, forgive. the leaf tip would work and it would give it a little bit of a of a wavy look mm, it's still a little too flat but it's more three-dimensional try not to waste the We'll just do that. We'll just start using <clears throat> that tip. Just see, that looks okay. That looks more taco ish. So we're going to go with that. And then I need a, what do I need? I need something. I need, we're just going to go with that and I, we're just going to do the red now. And now I need another ball. <clears throat> and another spoon. So, we're not going to put a whole lot of um, tomatoes on. It's like three or four. Just to give it. Um, a little bit of a, just give it a little bit of color. Oops. Ugh. My food coloring's old. So, and this is like super red. So, ooh, it's gonna be bright tomatoes. super bright tomatoes okay <clears throat> well that's okay because tomatoes are are red and we're just gonna put a couple of tomatoes on here now I don't know how I'm gonna do tomatoes I think I'm gonna have to more <clears throat> more or not um, like tips over here um, do like just round, like cherry tomato looking things. Get a fat round one. I don't know if y'all can see my tips, they're all in a mess. Um, because I haven't, I haven't cooked baked cakes in a while. So, they're all kind of laying down. I'm not in any kind of order at all so and i don't know where just a round tip is no. okay let me go with this one oh i need another okay <clears throat> sorry guys doing a lot of um things that i should have already had done and set up and ready to go and all of that good stuff, but I didn't, so y'all are having to, y'all are having to listen to my thought process, and I cut that bag too short. And I'm just getting a hurry, I tend to do things wrong. And I do that a lot, so, yeah. bear with me. So now I'm just gonna <clears throat> kind of put some color in. Try to not make the little. There we go. 
come out. I'm trying to make it look like a tomato, but not if that makes any sense at all. I'm gonna do it. Not really a ball, but not really square either. Like, that's what a tomato would look like. Guys, for the first time ever making a cake taco, um, I would eat it. Okay, now I gotta do cheese. And I think for the cheese, I'm just gonna take the same fondant and just sprinkle that on top. Guys, I'm so excited. This turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. So, I'm super excited. So, I'm gonna do the rest of these since this one turned out and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, so I am absolutely in love with these, this taco cake. It is so cute and so fun. It would be great to do for Taco Tuesday or um, Cinco de Mayo or anything else. This is just absolutely fun. So now I'm going to, um, <clears throat> I guess I'm going to cut up, well... I got to thinking, like, do I want the cheese the same color as the taco shell? But, I mean, it is cheese colored. So, um, I might, I've got enough. I might just mix up some orange. Um, nah, no, I'm not. I'm just going to tear this up, and this is going to be my cheese. And I'll just, like, try to sprinkle it out a little bit. Marianne just woke up, so um, I'm kind of interested to see what her reaction is to this cake. Oh, that's not sticking. Um, but I think that this is super fun, and um, if you make this cake or any other cake, I would absolutely love to see um, pictures um cakes are just fun and kids love them and they're easy to do and you think that it's going to be so hard and that you're not going to be able to do it but guys you never know what you're able to do i have learned this through many many things um you never know what you're what you're capable of and um until you try so I just want to really, really want to encourage you to, to just try and, um, go for it. And, you know, it, even if it's messy, even if it's not perfect and not Pinterest worthy or whatever, it's something that you did and with your kids, for your kids, for you, for your spouse, for just to be able to say, guys, look what I did. I did that. And um, so please just make a cake today. Use this recipe, use another recipe, whatever. If you have liked this video, um, hit that like button. If you have not subscribed yet, Hit the subscribe button and see what we're what we're doing tomorrow thanks so much guys for watching and for making this channel um more than what i thought that it would be because i don't know who wants to listen to a country bumpkin do recipes out of a church cookbook that's 20 years old 
but y'all have, and I really, really appreciate that, and I really thank you. So, go make a cake. <laughs>